friends, uh, welcome to the session on aptitude. This is Rohan, a mentor with IceGate. Uh, today we will be solving one question which is related to some way of ratio or maybe an aptitude topic. Let me explain the question first. Uh, the question says, rupees 1332 is divided among min2, pin2 and ren2. These are three characters. Uh, and their division is such that one fifth of min2's money is equal to one fourth of pin 2's money and is equal to one third of rin 2's money. Find the amount of money received by each of them. Now it's not a very difficult question, uh, but the challenge here is how you, do you approach this particular question? So I'll give you a couple of approaches to solve this question. Number one, the thing which comes to your mind that is a traditional approach uh, is taking them variables like m p or r or maybe you may take x, y or z for that reason and he is saying that uh, min 2's money plus pin 2's money plus rin 2's money so is going to be equal to 1, 3, 3, 2 that is the given in the equation right that is the first equation which we are getting second connection between these three we have got is 1 fifth of m is equal to 1 fourth of p is equal to one third of r. Yes. So we have got a relation between m, p, and r, and it asks you the value of m, p, and r typically, and there are options given to us. So if I if I take this something equal to some k, so can I say m will become five k, p will become four k, and r will become three k. Right. Now substituting these values in the equation number, let's say one, so I'll get m will become five k, p will become four k. And R will become 3K. So this is 1, 3, 3, 2. Total 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 3, 12. 12K is equal to 1, 3, 3, 2. You can solve the value of K. Let's say the value of K is 1, 3, 3, 2 divided by 12. If I simplify this, this will be nothing but 1, uh, 1, and 1. So the value of K comes out to be 1, 1, and 1. Now easily I can find value of M was 5K. So it is 5 times of this, which is 555. Five, five. Value of P was 4 times of this, which was 444. And value of R is 3 times of this, which is 3, 3 and 3. So the answer is going to be option number C. Now, this is one approach. I am not going to solve this approach in a paper. This is a traditional approach, which might take 30, 40 seconds to me. But I have a better approach to solve this question. So what could be the better approach to solve this question? Let me give you the second approach. So this was the first approach. Second approach is an examination approach. How you should attempt this question in an exam? It is very clearly mentioned that the amount total is 1332. Secondly, when you look at aptitude test, they are not testing your mathematical skills. They are basically testing you on how good are you at logic. So, typically they will not test you with calculations. They will test you how quick you can solve certain amount of questions. For example, when I see these values, you can be very, very sure in 95 to 98% of the cases, these values of M, P, and R will be integers. Now, when I see these are going to be integers in 98, 99% of the cases, I also know that M has to be a multiple of 5 because this is going to be an integer value, P has to be a multiple of 4, and R has to be a multiple of 3. Right? When I go to the option, and I see that these values, these values are given to me as respectively values. It is M, P, e, and R. So this cannot be M because it's not a multiple of five. So this is not the option. I'm eliminating this. This is a multiple of five. This is a multiple of five, and this is also not a multiple of five. So I'm rejecting these two options. Now, so we have got without even starting the question, we have got to the value that only these two options can be my answer. Secondly, when I say this is a multiple of 5, this is a multiple of 4, this is a multiple of 3, but the total is not coming out to be 1, 3, 3, 2. So definitely this is going to be rejected and ultimately you will get the answer. Without even attempting the question, you can get the answer. One more approach I can give you. This particular case, you can be very smart and say, Sir, I know that m plus p plus r is going to be 1, 3, 3, 2. Ultimately, if you see the last digit, it is going to be 2, right? Let me check. Is the last digit in this question going to be 2? No. Last digit is going to be 9. Rejected. Is this last digit going to be 2? No. Rejected. 
Is the last letter going to be 2? Yes. Is the last letter going to be 2? Yes. That means the answer can be either C or D. Secondly, if you apply a brain and you say 1 fifth of M is equal to 1 fourth of P, that means M is going to be larger value than P. That means if I have to opt with these two, M has to be a larger value than P, which is not the case here. So this is related and that's your answer. So we need not to even solve this question by this method. Within 3 to 4 seconds, you will get the answer. Getting approach, how to approach differently from others and getting more mastery. Thank you.